Hey guys, welcome to Season 6, Episode 3 of One Tree Hill. Here we go. This episode's gonna suck. Quentin Fields was a basketball player. He was also a son. Q! Where the hell are you, man? Somebody didn't drag myself out of bed for nothing. Call me back. This is gonna be a sad episode. Grief is like the ocean. It's deep and dark and bigger than all of us. Like a thief in the night. Someone's probably like, oh, he just choked up. No. One of the pistachios just went down the wrong side. Alright. I'll get something. back to it. Uh, we have to tell you something. What's wrong, Mama? Oh my god, this guy. Okay, I might actually cry. He's going to heaven, okay? We're not going to be able to see me. What about Raymond? Is that he's not playing anymore? Jamie. He died. And mommy and daddy are incredibly sad about it. So it's okay. You're sad too. But I know uh, that he loved you. Oh, that's much. sad. That's really and sad. I know that you're gonna miss him. But what about his cape? Jamie, oh, honey, listen to me. What are you what doing? Thing? You lost your mind? My sword and my clothes, I can do what I want with them. But no! Do you want to talk about it? Haley told me about your mom. The horrible, selfish bitch. I just want to apologize for my future wife Happy or girlfriend. Now, could talk. Bye. Uh, I'm going to need my key back, too. What? For, um. Moved out. Being thrown in jail have people come and go on because I probably would murder whoever did that to them. Look, I understand that you're upset, but if there's something else that's going on, why are you getting so mad? I've been not wanting to watch this episode for a week. I have to say to my five year old son, you want to talk about how you're feeling. What's the point? Chill, man. Chill. I mean, he's gone, right? Start looking for you. And then you'll be the future that you don't want to be. Mm, I've decided I can live with that. By then I'll have a six month head start with my son. Your plan and sucks. You, lemons, you can't be a sourpuss. It won't work. They won't bring Jamie to see me. She's really stupid. <laughs> she forgot. I'm a murderer. Remember. Besides... Why are you talking so quiet? Like this is loud, and I. According to this, I can hear her, but I can't hear you. What are you gonna do about the person who brings him? Well, I sincerely hope it's Haley, but I'm not gonna do anything. You're a murderer. Remember? Right. Supposed to get tomorrow. No. No, you're not. And that kid was just 17 years old. His life hadn't even started yet. That's not a true statement. No one listened to it. No one's guaranteed tomorrow. No one's guaranteed the next minute. It's just wrong, Luke. That's why you can't live with regrets. You gotta just go for things. I feel like I let him down. I asked him to be a good example. Life sucks. And a good teammate. God. I think you'd like that. I think his parents should have that. But okay. Their bras are sexy, huh? Oh, good God. She is so creepy. Why don't you have this? Literally reminds me of some <laughs> young, attractive. Some weird person in my life. Creepy, weird person. Could have a little boy here. Not sexually, but like creepy. Help you out. Going to enjoy killing. Let's play Russian roulette. I like our chances. Did that just hit you in the head? <laughs> I don't like how they're making her look like she's on this, like, murder path. 
just because she's learning how to shoot, and like that's they're they're making it look really bad, and it's it's not that like. Go ahead. I understand she's probably bad, but that I feel like they're trying to like paint a message that's not gonna work with me. Number one. They gave me a present. Is this his brother? What's your name? James oh, Scott. He kind of looks well, like him. Everyone calls me Dre, but my real name is Brandon Andre Fields. Quentin was my brother. My son has always loved basketball. But I have to tell you, when I came home and found him reading a book, it just about gave me a heart attack. <laughs> he said, Mama, Mrs. James Scott, she don't play. He said, she almost <laughs> as bad as you are. <laughs> I am going to miss my baby boy for the rest of this life. I'm going to be a musician when I grow up. I'm going to play basketball. Yeah, I might do that too. My mom makes the best spaghetti in the world. Really? I love spaghetti. I love macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese My grandpa too. can whistle really loud. kid. Good boy, you know that. <sighs> wow. <laughs> my mom's grandfather died when I was around Jamie's age. And so my whole family's at the wake. And How old is he? Kneeling in front of the Five. casket. And I'm really scared because there's this... Lost my grandparents at... Grandpa at five or six. Anyway, my mom's crying. Lost the other two at dad. eight. He says a couple words and then he leans forward and he kisses the corpse. Dan sucks. Yeah. So maybe you're right. Maybe Jamie should set this one out. Wait, what grandfather? So I've already sorry. met his grandfather. We met his grandfather on this show. So okay. Why would why would you Dan don't. kiss must be devastated. his I feel numb. I wife's I dad? I just want to wake up. I just want you to wake up. Is that a plot hole? Did, Did they, they just make a mistake? Have they found the person responsible? We've already met so. Dan's dad. Look, I probably should be getting back downstairs. I don't want to make the day worse for you, Nada. And his mom. Okay. They had a family dinner. Unless he's just that weird, creepy guy. That it was her, her mom or her dad. I'm here for you. Yeah, you here. Q going and I'm someplace else. Yikes. Someone needs to find out that she hey. was attacked. I'm so sorry, though. Do I need to go talk to Jamie? Saying goodbye to Angie and Victoria trying to Honestly, me. how dumb are all these people to think that she <laughs> fell down the stairs? No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> there was a therapist that Yeah, because that makes I sense. We were having some problems. She has like bar fight like injuries. And everyone's perfectly fine with oh yeah, she fell down the stairs. Look at her arm. Looks like someone grabbed her. Did someone fall down the stairs? Does it hurt? And I like, I like how she fell down the stairs and all she got was bruises on on areas that doesn't even make sense. Why you would only be bruised on those areas if you fell down the stairs? Oh boy. You have a broken leg, Dan. How far are you gonna go? Come on, Long John Silver, let's go. I like how he's going in the back, not the front. Like, you might want to go down the road, you know, maybe. Get your filthy, murdering ants away from my son! Her son died? That's why she's crazy. Trying to feel the... Feel. Fill the hole. Some people, when they lose a child... I don't know what to say to them. 
I'm 22 years old, and I'm they so grieve, I've got all this for my students. And they, they remember. I can't. I can't. And they're, they're hurt. Some people, when they lose a child, they go crazy. You're and they try to steal other kids. <sighs> like the psycho we see. You reach them, too. What's your name? Sam. Samantha Walker. No. Can you take that desk in the back, please? Why? What's wrong with this one? That desk is taken. I mean, I get that. It's okay to feel pain. It's even okay to hate the person that did this. But when that anger... Definitely hate the person that did this. And that hate becomes too much for you, you come see me, Nate, or Luke. Oh, I had to wrestle two really strong women and a kid in a wheelchair for the couture stuff, but... <laughs> Most of it's there. Oh, just put your books away. Everybody take out a piece of paper and a pen. Why? Stop. Because this is a literature class. <laughs> Asking me why. When archaeologists uncover lost civilizations and they unearth these Who the hell does she think she is? Has been destroyed. You know what they find most often? They find stories. Take out a, take out a words, piece of paper, paper and a pen. Thousands of years. Why? Because chances are they, like you... Is this is English class, dumbass. <laughs> What's the point? And they want us to know that they were here, you know? Like... Who wrote this? I did. Give me your marker. Oh. He who does not weep does not see. What's that from? Yikes. My Miserab. Nice shirt. Clothes over bros, right? That's all me. Did she steal her? Did she steal it? Oh, I would. I don't care. No, wait, no, it was totally a guy who mugged her. She did steal it the other time, didn't she? We're gonna say goodbye to Quentin, honey. He needs to be there. I know he's five. Four or five, I don't care. Five. I think he needs to be there. How's the team doing? Not so good. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they forfeit the rest of the season. It's really nice having you here. They didn't catch the guy. Especially now. No, I mean, the guy who did it wasn't even a character we've seen before. It was just like a... They really teased them two for a whole freaking season. Just to just put them together without anything going up to it. Just like, bam. We were in the same cliques first. We both felt the same pressures, same expectations. Our parents were like children, and we both grew into they still are children. kind of bad versions of ourselves way too fast. So if your mom tries to take your dream away from you, and you feel that same pain I did, I've sort of been there, okay? I'm going to be kind of pissed off if you don't talk to me about it. Me too. I mean, I haven't been there, but like, I'd be pissed off if you didn't go and talk to him. I know you didn't know Quinn, but... This is going to be really sad, but... The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. One is angry, neither one of them is Not a good time to show that, but I get it. Stop. <sighs> oh. oh, that that one really hurt. <sighs> you know, I don't care that she lost. Well, I mean, I care that she lost her son, but I don't care that. 
you lost your son and you're you're doing this whole like I'm gonna kidnap another kid. That's not an excuse. Biased, persistent, unfair. And honestly, at that point, like, why should I feel bad for you? Because then you're gonna you're gonna do a tragedy with another Diminished tragedy or a bad action, and like. And love. Why? Why should I feel bad for you if you're just gonna turn a tragedy into something bad? And something evil. They're not gonna they're not gonna make me change my mind, I guess, with Aunt Carrie. Because I see how his Nana actions Carrie. has affected the people who did know She's him. a crazy so psycho. I know that he to them. Oh. I know he was loved. They say on a good night it almost seemed as though he could fly. And now he can. That was sad. Gone too soon. Um, it sucks. Bad people out there. In all different levels. Murderers. Abusers. Kidnappers. And it sucks. Now why can't... Why can't we all just live together? You know? But what I will say, don't let the bad apples destroy the tree. Every time there's a, a bad action, a bad person, they always seem to get more of sc the screen time or more of the, the picture or more of the attention than all the good. And the good is so much more. Like, it's just everyone likes to see the flaws and the bad things, and they heighten them. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of bad, but there's a hundred times more good. Um, Two hundred times more good. Like, tragic. Tragedies. Um, yeah. We'll not drag this on any longer. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. Um, we'll... We'll see y'all in just a few hours on Season 6, Episode 4.